Hello everyone, Mary Morning here, back with another book review for the Witchy Book Club. And today's book is Witchcraft Today by Gerald Gardner. And this is one of the basic books, if you're studying Wicca, that you would want to pick up because it's written by Gerald Gardner himself, uh, the father of Wicca. So uh, it's an interesting read. I will start by saying it's basically his own personal observations and stories of um, what he had learned from traveling. So Gerald Gardner was an anthropologist um, and he would travel to different countries, learn. He had a, a really keen interest in learning mysticism occult, spiritualism, all those types of things. And when he would travel to different countries, he would look into what the local customs were and what the local people were doing and study what they might be into and compare it to different countries and different, um, you know, uh, cultures, cross, you know, comparison of cultures and uh, their beliefs. And that's basically what this book is about, is just stories of people that he met and uh, in his travels throughout his life and what uh, he observed and what he learned. So if you're looking for a book that is about, you know, the how to's of Wicca, that's not what this is. It's more of stories. Like if you want a how to, then maybe uh, Raymond Buckland book or a Scott Cunningham book um, has that. Or he even has there is a Book of Shadows by Gerald Gardner that you can pick up and that was published. So if you want to know some of the more technical how-tos, that, that would be that book rather than this one. This one's more of like stories of people and places and belief systems. So there was the Witchcraft Act was repealed in 1951 and then this book was written shortly after that in 1954. So Gerald Gardner had written a couple of books before that but they were more fiction based. And this one was the first non-fiction book so that he could you know write out everything that he had sort of learned. And for that reason it's one of the most famous books because it's one of the first few you know, books to talk openly about witchcraft. And, you know, we take for granted in this modern age that you can go on YouTube or social media and talk about witchcraft and, you know, whatever you want to and be free, free to talk about it. Um, but back in 1954, it was pretty conservative. So you certainly couldn't do that. And so, you know, in the book, there's quite a bit about, you know, being secretive and, and that sort of thing. Even though Gerald Gardner himself really liked to talk about it. Like he was very open about it and he liked to go on, you know, television or radio and do interviews. So there's quite a, there's few, you know, if you search through YouTube or that, you'll find interviews with Gerald Gardner. So, yeah, the, the, the historical facts in this book may not be completely accurate because they are his view of what he saw or learned, and it might be what was thought of as accurate in 1954, but has been, you know, changed or, you know, by now. We, we've learned that that's not the correct way, so we've... we've learned a new thing. So you have to take, when you're reading this, take it with a grain of salt because, you know, history changes. Uh, we find new facts all the time and it changes all the time. So don't read it as a matter of fact uh, history book. Uh, so some of the stories were really interesting. So he talks about uh, going to uh, joining the Freemasons and that sort of thing and then he talks about uh, the new forest coven so he was part of if I remember right he was part of the Rosicrucians and he was part of the Freemasons so he's initiate in that uh, but he wasn't 
all that crazy about the Freemasons. There were a couple of little stories in there about why. And uh, then he met what he calls a witch cult in New Forest um, and a lady named Old Dorothy. And uh, after she dies, I think, is when he goes on to write this book. But he was very impressed by this witch cult um, that called themselves the Wicca uh, with one C, W-I-C-A. Um, and what I'm guess getting is that it was um, based in like fairy and um, old Greek lore like uh, Dionysus and that sort of thing from the book, uh, which was very interesting. So yeah, um, have a look through it. I think I think it's an interesting read. Uh, you know, you're not going to get into the you know the how tos of uh, how to do a ritual or anything like that. This is just stories. If you want his book of shadows, that's been published as well. So you can get the Gardnerian book of shadows. If you want to read uh, the witch, the rituals and that sort of thing, I am not initiated, so this is just me reading um, initiated into Wicca in any way. I'm I'm just reading books. I I am doing uh, a study group of Wicca, so these are some of the books that are recommended to read. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying reading through the. Uh, the reading list. I did read Witchcraft Today uh, a long time ago and I thought it was entertaining in that but I you know it was kind of one of those books where you just like oh, okay and then you go on. <laughs> um, you know I don't remember it kind of standing out in any way but um, going back through it I find it a little more interesting now that I've done a little more study into Aleister Crowley and that I think I understand a little more about what he's talking about in the book than I did way back when. So, I think I will give this book a four out of five stars. Um, just basically because it's written by the man himself and that goes for something. Um, it's like I say, it's not full of like the nitty gritty of uh, Wicca or witchcraft. It's more of a general stories and, and that sort of thing. So can try it out for yourself and see what you think. Thanks for joining me. You can find um, me on my channel Merry Morning and I'm on Etsy and I'm on Instagram and usually do fashion more on Instagram than witchy stuff. So if you're interested in gothic fashion you can follow me on there. Thanks. Bye now.